Hey guys and gals, uh, Jim here, and uh, thought I'd uh, bring you the finished up uh, TIE Fighter uh, little uh, diorama that I did. Uh, I got all three TIE Fighters mounted on there. Uh, I'm trying to do this in kind of early morning, so that way uh, uh, the lighting shows up a little bit better than mi middle of the day. So, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of shadows and stuff too. So, but anyway, um, this is the finished uh, diorama. I got my two TIE Fighters, my TIE Advanced X1. Uh, I got all my tiles finished up. I um, I just did them with a little bit uh, darker shades of gray. Uh, kind of, kind of muted, muted them a little bit, uh, some lighter gray, some darker gray. Um, I, I did a base coat of black and I did a real, uh, light wash on them and stuff. Uh, there, there's a lot of raised areas, but a lot of these tire t tiles, the, the, the surface, it doesn't have a lot of greeble, so it doesn't pick up a wash real good other than just a few areas here and there. But, uh, it came out okay. Just what I was looking for and stuff. My, uh, my, uh, cast tiles, Blended in real well, so you can't even tell that they're uh, any different than the kit parts and everything like that. There's a kit part one there, and there's one of my cast ones there. So uh, those turned out real well and everything. So we'll give her a quick spin around and everything. Um, I, lighting, interior lighting. It's uh, you know it's not real bright. It's just bright enough to uh, you know to, to highlight the red inside and all that. So. Uh, that's uh that worked out pretty well and stuff so uh the Darth Vader figure there, there are figures in there um that one takes up a little more space and kind of kind of casts a little bit different lighting effect than the two TIE fighters that do as his cape uh it really spreads out when you got them uh glued in there to the seat and everything but um I'm happy with the the way that's that turned out and all that uh there's another one you can kind of you can kind of tell the fi the figure in there and stuff I did use the clear parts and everything, I just thought they looked better on these particular models and stuff. So, there's the other one and stuff. It kind of, kind of the red. I got it mounted down below and in front of the figure. So, it kind of bounces off the figure. And, uh, you know, you can see the highlights and stuff of the figure in there and stuff. I mean, not real well. You can see it better in person than you can uh, on the camera and stuff. So, so, I'm happy with that. I got my uh, uh, laser guns, whatever you want to call them i got those flashing and everything i just use a little flashing unit uh that i picked up off of ebay and all that and uh you can adjust the timing on it and stuff you know so i got it set about a medium flash like they're you know they're like they're pulsing you know like you see in the movie and stuff and everything you can go i can go a little i can go a lot faster where you barely can see the flash on the camera and I can go a little bit slower too. I also can just uh, keep them constant on, or I can turn them off and everything. So that turned out real well. As far as the Tide Fighters themselves, they are they are completely painted. I did do a black wash to bring out a lot of the highlights, like especially in these areas and stuff like that. So um, I'm happy with the way that wash came out and everything, and um, all that, and. Uh, Let's give her a quick spin around. These larger models, like I keep keep saying in a lot of my videos with my larger models, they are uh, a little bit more a pain to, to film and everything. But uh, anyway, I got the uh, the back uh, the engine uh, th thrusters lit with the red. So they're just constant on and everything. And uh, TIE Advanced has four of them, where the TIE Fighters just have two. But uh, that's pretty much my whole diorama and stuff, you know. And if you notice, I got them all angled to the side and stuff like that. I uh, gave it a little bit more interest than just straight up and down. And they're kind of tilted back in a, a little bit and stuff. So, uh, But I'm happy the way it came out and all that. I think it looks pretty cool with the three of them together. Those... Uh, those side panels, the way they got the raised texture on them, it's almost like it gives you like a marbly effect and everything. And uh, you can't really notice it by, but the camera picks it up and stuff like that. But uh, that's just the way that they're molded with the different uh, the different patterns and everything. The, pan the, the, the little uh, panels with all the little uh, surface texture and stuff. But um, I think it looks pretty cool having all three of them together and everything. And uh, one thing I did do... Is um, I forgot to show you. Now this isn't the remote control unit. This is just wired. 
hardwired right into the circuit. But um, I did mount my little light controller for the uh, the green LED um, with the, for the for the laser <clears throat> laser cannons, whatever you want to call them. I did mount it. I I um, notched out a piece of the uh, frame and I mounted it on the outside. So if I want to change anything, I can easily get to it rather than picking it up and reaching underneath and everything and taking a chance to drop it. So I mounted it on the back and everything right to my uh, input jack for my 12 volts. And, um, I, you know, I can control, I can turn them off, I can keep them steady on, I can change the modes around, stuff like that, uh, I have them flashing, have them fading, you know, whatever I, whatever I feel like, but, um, I kind of like it, like in the movie, they're giving that steady, um, you know, flash, like, um, like they're firing, you know, uh, and all that, but happy the way it came out, uh, this one, engine back here is a little dimmer, that's the, uh, fiber optic that I showed a video a while back at, uh, it broke on me on the inside, and I spliced her together with a piece of um, uh, insulation that was the same diameter. I used um, uh, 0 .25, 0 0.25 millimeter fiber optics for the engines and for the cannons. Uh, I felt that was uh, big enough. I did um, blossom the ends of them so they, they're a little bit bigger and stuff like that. But um, I think they fit in real well with the scale and everything like that. So I'm happy the way it all turned out. And... <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but anyway, that's the um, three Tie Fighters and all that. A lot of fun to build and all that. They're really nice, uh, nicely detailed kits. And uh, water went down the wrong tube. But anyway, um, so that's it. There's uh, all three of them from kind of siding on everything like that. So. Um, not much else to say about it. It was a lot of fun to work on. I'm um, happy I did the base uh, with the tiles rather than just a plain base and everything and all that. So, um, like I said, I couldn't, I didn't want to go much bigger and put an X-Wing or Y-Wing on there because it would just take up too much space. And uh, these larger displays, this is like 12 inches by 12 inches. And then with the added uh, frame around it, it brings out to about 13 and a half uh, by 13 and a half. So um that's plenty big and everything i can still fit it on a shelf in the, this in my model room and stuff like that so um but yeah that's it for the time being and there's another look at the lasers firing and stuff like that you can pick up the little bit of red inside the cockpits and um so that'll do it so uh thanks for checking my videos out uh thanks for subscribing thanks to all my new subscribers thanks for all the great comments you guys been leaving me uh thanks for hitting the like button and uh all that, and uh, we'll see you uh, soon. I got some other builds to do, and we'll see you soon with uh, some more videos in the near future. So, till the next time, you guys all take care. Everybody out there, have a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, and, you know, here in the Midwest, Illinois, Iowa, we're getting pretty bad. Iowa's doing really bad. Illinois starting to get there with a lot of cases and stuff. Um, uh, a lot of counties already uh, getting uh, things, uh, bars and stuff like that, uh, shut back down and stuff like that. So um, uh, who knows when this is going to end. Uh, they're already talking uh, uh, cases next year already and stuff in January and stuff. So it doesn't look like this is going to get over with anytime soon and stuff. So uh, till the next time, you guys all take care. Have a good one and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.